Welcome to 10 incredible Etsy facts you didn't know and stick around for number one because if you wanna make more sales this Christmas, number one is gonna help you get there. Let's go. Right then, fact number 10, I love this one. Etsy has two algorithms, one that deals with Etsy ads and one that deals with what I call organic discovery. So inside the organic discovery algorithm, there's multiple components to it. It's not just a search algorithm where you type keywords in and it shows products. It's so much more than that. And Etsy is looking into ways to present products to shoppers without keywords. Because if we think about it, keywords, it's such a dated thing, isn't it? We've got video, we've got suggestion, recommendation, photos. There's so many more ways to get products to people than just keywords. And Etsy is investing heavily into this technology. For example, did you know they will surface products to customers based on no matching keywords at all? Incredible, eh? Let's get on to number nine. Number nine, so many people still don't know this, the Etsy free shipping boost does not boost your listings inside the Etsy platform. I still get sellers coming to me thinking that if they, if they offer it, uh, somehow Etsy is going to then uh, raise the visibility of your products. This was a massive failure for, for Etsy. When they implemented this, their conversion rate on the platform tanked. It was a disaster because Etsy was pushing free shipping products ahead of the products that customers actually wanted to purchase. Huge, huge mistake. Etsy backtracked on it very, very quietly. So don't think free shipping is going to boost your products because it won't. Let's get on to number eight. These are going to get better and better. Number eight, it's related to Etsy. It's part of the Etsy ecosystem. There are dozens of courses out there valued between $1,000, I say valued, they're not worth this money at all, but these are the ticket prices, $1,000 to $6,000 teaching you to sell things like mugs and teaching you to use things like E-rank grades to build a course around which is absolutely ridiculous. There's no course out there um, for $6,000 or even $2,000 that's gonna give you value for, value for money and enable you to make um, sales in your Etsy store. It's absolutely crazy. Everyone's out there just trying to make money on these courses. Um, they don't care about you. They don't care about whether it actually works. They don't test this stuff. And overwhelmingly, this stuff doesn't work. So watch out for them. That's number eight. Let's get into number seven. Number seven, in 2021, Rachel Glazer, the Etsy CFO, came out and told the world in one of their um, quarterly reports, they refer to Etsy sellers as churn, churn, like butter being churned. All they care about is revenue. They don't care about you, the seller. They, they refer to sellers as churn, sellers leaving the marketplace sellers coming onto the marketplace. As long as the number of sellers coming onto the marketplace replaces what is leaving and actually makes money, which is the tough part, and Etsy are trying to sort this out now because they've got so many low effort stores on their platform. But as long as the number of, sell number of sellers coming in is replacing what's going out, they don't care about you. They just don't care about you. And the quicker you get that into your head, the better and the more, uh, more accurate uh, your relationship will be with Etsy rather than fantasizing still lots of sellers still believe that Etsy cares about them and they really don't. Let's get on to number six. Fact number six, Etsy publicly states it does not localize US traffic. So that's the fact. I just want to give you a bit of information and a bit of insight. There are many, many sellers in the United States that are reporting that they are getting localized state traffic into their store, or they used to have state traffic coming in from certain US states, but now they don't have it, okay? And this is linked to fact number one, which I'll tell you at the end, which is incredible, and it lends credibility to what I'm saying now. I think the sellers are right. I think Etsy is localizing inside the United States or pushing states out of favor for shops based on the data that they're getting in. I'm not saying they're right in doing this, I believe that they are doing it. And so then how much of a reach is it really to 
contemplate that Etsy localizes the United States itself. This is open to debate. I believe they do. I believe they localize inside the United States for states, according to where the shop is. And I also believe that they are localizing in the United States. It makes sense. They do it in other places around the world. Why wouldn't they do it to the United States? What do you think about that? Let's get on to number five. Fact number five, I've been teaching my clients this for the last six years or so. I got laughed at in the old Etsy forum when I said all this stuff. People were laughing at me saying, you don't know what you're talking about, it's rubbish. Fact number five, Etsy can raise and lower visibility of products and Etsy stores at any time, whenever they want. And they do it. Now people have come to, to realize that this is going on. Frequency capping, moving items in and out of pole position to give other items uh, a chance to, to be seen. Limiting visibility when, when people have too many outstanding orders. Uh, and they lower the visib visibility of your store then. Etsy has very tight control over your store and what's going on inside it. And it's all related to quality score. I talk about this all the time. Fact number five, Etsy can raise and lower product vis visibility and raise and lower store visibility. Let's get on to number four. Fact number four, this is a brilliant one and so many people forget it. May 2020, Etsy had 49 million uh, customers frequenting the platform. May 2021, so just a year later during COVID, this number jumped to over 90 million. The platform almost doubled in size. It was absolutely incredible. And sellers forget this. So when they look at their stores and if their store was uh, created in 2020 or 2021, they come to me saying, what's happened to my store? It's, it's so bad, the performance is so bad. No, you your store was born in COVID. That was an incredible time to sell. We're not in there anymore, we've lost all that. So Etsy doubled in size in a year almost. That's just insane. And we're all dealing with the after effects of that now because now the platform is extremely difficult uh, to do well on. During COVID, it was so much easier to build and grow a store and sellers that reveled in that time are now struggling and they don't understand why. They look at it and they don't understand the relationship between COVID and now. That's fact number four. Let's get on to number three. Fact number three, Etsy stores are bought and sold all the time. And you'll see people in the Etsy forum saying, oh, no, 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 it never happens. You can't do that. It happens. I've personally witnessed it happen. And of course, it's, it's part of doing business. If a company acquires an, another company and that other company has an Etsy store and it's being absorbed into that brand, it gets done. Believe me, it gets done. I've seen it happen. So don't listen to anyone that says, oh, people aren't buying and selling Etsy stores. It's happening all the time. Let's get on to fact number two. Fact number two, this is a really concerning one. There are dozens of Etsy selling rings out there on um, freelancing platforms like Upwork and Fiverr and other places as well that are there, you employ them to artificially raise the visibility of your products. So there's selling rings out there that will purchase, search for your products, find it, purchase it to give quality score to those products. Sometimes when you see products that that you think, well, you know, how did it get there? Sometimes it's legitimate, it's through sales. Other times it's through sales, but they're coming via selling, ring, selling rings. Etsy selling rings, they're a thing, they've been around for ages. I found it by chance because I work on these platforms uh, to do my job and I couldn't believe it. You can hire people to just artificially inflate the uh, visibility of your products. Not saying that it's gonna sell afterwards, who knows? But there's some dodgy stuff going on out there, a lot of dodgy stuff with Etsy that most of you guys don't know about. Now let's get on to number one. This is amazing. This is going to directly uh, influence your sales at Christmas. Let's get into this. So fact number one, this is from Etsy themselves. So this has come from Etsy. Listen to this. Etsy is going to boost products in discovery, in search and non-search areas of the site in December that offer shorter shipping times. Okay, so if you have an ability to shorten your shipping times and make them more competitive, they're going to raise the visibility for these products. How much that boosts you, I don't know. How much more money you're going to make, 
I don't know, nobody knows, but this was announced by Etsy very recently. If you have the ability to shorten your shipping times, get on that and do it, and let me know whether it works and you make more sales. I hope you've enjoyed these 10 facts. Any questions, get into my comments, and there's no excuse not to work with me. I keep saying this to you, you guys. You're all asking me questions, I answer every single one, but when there's a deep problem, we need to get into it and work together to sort that out. If you want to work with me, all the details are in the description of this video. I can't wait to speak to you in the comments and see you in the next one. Cheers.